Okay, well, we got a container, so that's a good start. At There's least. a container. There's one C. <laughs> so we can boil water and cook, right? What the heck is Cordage this? and co uh, cargo tape. I'll be honest with you. There's nine of the ten C's in there. Okay, nine? Okay, yeah. I, I think I'll make do. <laughs> Look at that. Unicorns. <laughs> cargo tape. We have a, c a container. Cordage. There's the pink cotton yarn. How many bad looks did you get when you bought this stuff yesterday? There's some... Pink salmon. Pink salmon. I'm noticing a theme going on here. Yeah, all the colors. Princess Peach. All right, we got some stew. I'll survive. Yes. And assuming that you got this yesterday, so. <laughs> Three C's. Ooh. Four. That's a cutting tool. Ooh. That looks nice. 88 cents. Really? Chef's knife at Walmart. No kidding. I used one of those. In one of your videos. Huh? We'll just have to break that little thing to get it open. Right on. Let's see. Cotton. Oh man, cotton bandana. Good color. <laughs> cotton. Another more, thing of stew. More stew. Because that's for the two of us. This bag is for the two of us okay. to live on. I was going to say, you, you're going to be hungry when I eat all that stew. Hey, same whistle that compass. I just had for years. Compass. And there's also a combustion in there whistle. because you can make solar ignition. With that magnet. Hopefully. Magnet. Channeling device. Oh man. So we're at seven C's. Let's see, 18 lumens. All right, that's Eight. a little bit lower than the 3,000 I'm used to. <laughs> 40 hours. Oh, I thought it was 60. 40 hours, 33 meters, so 108 feet. Wow. Perfect. Double A batteries. Drink. All right, pink. Another one. Cool. But we're not going to die of thirst, at least for now. Pink. Strawberry. <laughs> Strawberry and cream flavor. Also uh, the joke, the joke, the joke. Ah, spam. spam. From 2004. Spam stinks. <laughs> From 2004. Right now, that looks a little bit newer than the one with no label. Uh, and, oh, we're we going to do some painting? That's our, yeah, <laughs> that's our shelter. What? Nine foot by 12 foot, two mil drop cloth plastic. What the heck? How that's are we going? That's our shelter. All right. Well, we're going to have to figure something out with these items, what we're going to do. All right, well, that's the catch. And we got to split it too. That's the catch. How oh, many there... feet of unicorn tape did you bring? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I figure we can. Ten yards. We're going to have to figure out what we can do with all this gear. Ten U.S. yards or 9.1 meters. Nine meters would be 27 feet or something like that, 30 yeah. feet maybe. <clears throat> what else you got there? That's it. There. Uh, that's oh, it. you got oh. something in the front. Oh, that's right. Got another pocket here. All right. What's in the front. Oh, there we go. Ah, uh, combustion. There more we go. Matches. We survive now. Uh huh. Heating tools. Forks. Forks and spoons. spoons. Teaspoons. I got the teaspoons so they're longer so we can cook in this container and mix it. Works. This pot was like seven bucks. And some bags. Those are the bags that came from the store when I bought all this stuff. It came out to like fifty bucks. Nice. That's our bu our Princess Peach bug out bag. Right on. You think we can survive? this overnighter with these items uh, it's gonna be tough <laughs> that light that light's gonna rock i know um how do i get this open it's gonna be do you know what i don't see in here i don't see a hammock or There's, a tent no no nope. that's we're gonna have to figure it out brother okay we're gonna have to see if we can get so we both pulled the wool over each other where's the mora at so i can open this nice <laughs> so even the even the yarn's called peaches and cream. Is it? <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's what we are gonna be dealing with. Peaches and cream. <laughs> that is our survival kit. So again, the catch is we can use these other items as a backup if we don't have what we need here. Okay, but I'd if like we, to try if we to, have to tap out. <laughs> yeah, if we have to tap out, we can dig into these other bags and you could use your little cozy. All right. That's what I was going to do. I'm, it's not matching the pink though, so I don't know if I will. I brought myself for <laughs> comfort, not knowing we were going to trade. <laughs> I guess you get the comfort and I get the food. Yeah. Yeah, well, you got some good items in there. That You'll be surprised yes. when you use that sleeping bag in there, how light it is. It keeps you warm. And how warm it is? Yeah, it's goose, so. Oh, nice. If it rains, we should be good. And there's bone set right here. Cool. Is that what that is? Bone set, yep.
take a look at this fabulous cutting tool. Chef knife. So I'm planning on using it like a knife. So if I'm going to baton or whatever I'm going to do on this trip, we're going to test this thing and see how it works, how it holds up. Wow, 88 cents, huh? I, yeah. I personally believe, honestly, that this kit, this P Princess Peach Bug Out bag, we do this kind of for a joke, but Rated. I truly believe that that's enough items for us to make an overnighter. I think you, I think you can do it. So that's the challenge. I Hope think you with enjoy. your skills and my good attitude, we should be able to pull through with this. <laughs> yes, I think we can do it. Good items. All right. <laughs> the idea is with the cordage is we are going to make uh, hammocks today. So what we need to start off with is put a ridge line up, if you would, maybe a little bit higher than your head. Okay. Starting over there and ending here, or vice versa. As long as you have a ridge line fairly tight, uh, and I'll do the same thing over here on these two trees, and then uh, we'll make some hammocks. All right. I'll show you how. Uh, so we'll have to use this knife and this cordage. Oh man, this is going to be fun. Well, at least it's sharp for now, huh? Yeah, we'll see how this knife holds up. I plan on using it uh, and abusing it like I would a mora or any other knife. That'll be good then. See what we can handle. Looking at the one, the mora knife you gave me, you would use the heck out of your knives. That thing has been everywhere, man. Okay, next step, real quick. Take you a measurement of your cordage okay. and get it just shy of the ground and cut one like that. You want it above the ground or just? Just on the ground? touching or just okay. short. Okay. Yeah, and then we're going to have to make a lot of these. Okay. Like 20 or 30 of them. Whoa. We're going to put them over there, and we're going to put them about a handhold apart, and we're going to use a, a lark's head just like that. Okay. So that's what we'll do. We'll do a bunch of those, okay. and they need to be the same length, and then we'll start netting our, our, our net after that. Alrighty. Lark's head. You could do a clove hitch if you'd rather do a clove hitch here. Okay. But a lark's head is fine if you want to do that. Too. Lark's head. Simple. I'll do that. Very easy and it'll hold. But just the main thing is when you when you get it, make sure the tails are the same length. Oh, okay. okay. So, you could so this place that we're at, this is called Locket Meadow. It's in Flagstaff and we're off of Schultz Pass where we're at. Nice place.
right here like 15 yards away. Right there behind that tree, he's in velvet. Gonna hurt ya. Right there. Startled him. Got a little close for his comfort. So there he goes. Now I've got a few things going on here. So on each end over here, you can see that I have little loops. Okay, so I have two loops here on the end. And those loops are basically this wood is going to go through these loops and it's going to connect to the hammock. And you can see on the wood that I have cut a V in each end where the wood is going to come in contact with the rope. Okay. You can also see over here that there is a third loop. And what this loop does is this holds the wood from going that way. It stops it. It doesn't let it go that way. So I'm going to come here, run it through there, I'm going to run it through here, and I'm going to line these up and try to get this just like this. Now this will pull back here, and again, this piece is in hopes to keep this from going that way. So I'm going to tighten this up a little bit. I want to keep it about where it's at. Now on the other side, it's a little simpler. I don't have this extra piece over there on the other side. What I have is two loops. So I'm going to pull this all kind of open here, get it nice and stretched out. And I've got a loop here and I've got a loop here. So it's very, very simple. Kind of the same thing. I'm going to go through here. I'm going to get to the other side right here and run through the loop. And eventually, if I can find it, there we go. I can find the rope here with this V notch. Then I'll stretch everything open, make this connection right here, pull this thing nice and tight. Now we have the moment of truth. I'm going to try to sit in this hammock and see if it's going to work, if it's going to, I'm going to fall on my butt, or is it going to hold? We don't know. I'm going to find out. So we've been kind of experimenting with them, and they're doing pretty good. It's a little hard getting in at first. Look, it's about to dump me. <laughs> <laughs> and now that I'm in adjusting this, oh yeah, wake me up in the morning. All right. And as you can see over there, my <sighs> hammock's relaxing. Yeah, I don't know if the camera can pick that up. <laughs> oh, but I'm comfortable here. He's comfortable. And in the background there, oh, by his feet, my hammock is just relaxing. It's just chilling. Yeah, we're trying to figure that one out. This is my hammock, so this is the idea. And thank you, Justin, for bringing Para 1100, man. Yeah, no problem, man. He's got to deal with that crappy paracord. <laughs> that one kind of gives you the yeah, uh, it does, mild though. fascia release, though. <laughs> it does. It gives you, like, poor Justin, because earlier he was trying to work on it, and the board slipped out, and it knocked the hell out of him in the head. The good thing, though, is no harm, no foul, because it's not the first time it's smacked in the head by something heavy. <laughs> this is actually pretty comfortable. I don't have any kind of feeling like I'm going to fall or it's pretty cool. You think this will work? I think so. <laughs> Just I have think a tree it, I found. Dude, I bet it will. Uh, cut a good deep notch in it like I did maybe. I would try that. I felt Just a the raindrop. I did. You say that every time the camera's on. I felt a raindrop. You're tripping, bro. I know. I'm probably tripping, huh? Too many of mushroom? them mushrooms. Mushrooms again. Them golden tops. <laughs> mushrooms so that's my hammock i like it it's pretty comfortable it is comfortable very comfortable it turned out great you know it took a little time to make but very nice turned out good 
Now we're just gonna finish Justin's. Let's get this flashlight ready just in case. It's starting to, we're starting to lose a little daylight, so. Forty hours on two double A's, so that's pretty good. We should be we should be doing all right with this. This is going to be our light tonight. This is part of our challenge. It's going to be fun. We've got some good batteries here. Let's see how does this go. Boy, that is a cheesy little flashlight. <laughs> it's definitely not an O-light or a through night. Okay. Ooh, 18 lumens of goodness. So as Miss Bella would have said, look at my flashlight. Hello, everybody. Look at my flashlight. But now I'm just trying to get this pot ready. This is about as cheesy as they come. And I'm kind of curious how it's going to work, how it's going to function. Is it going to be any good? Looks like it has a, the makings of what could be a poor spout. I'm sure that that's probably not going to work very well. Uh, this thing was only seven bucks. So honestly, I'm not expecting a lot. I'm expecting to cook my food, and that's about it. Heat up my food, and that's about all I'm hoping to get out of it. Look, look at the lid. I mean, the handle's offset. That's about, it does have a strainer though, that's kind of cool. So there's our pot and our flashlight. We're set, we're ready to go. This challenge is pretty fun, I'm enjoying it. So I'm going to try to baton this stuff with this 88 cents knife and see how this works. I have no idea if the knife's going to hold up, break, I don't know. Wow, check that out. It actually worked without breaking. Huh? Working? It worked. It, it went through, dude, like a boss. Who needs a Mora when you could just spend 88 cents? For... <laughs> Honestly, folks, this knife kind of sucks, but it's for our, for your viewing pleasure. Let's just put it that way. Going through this whole box of matches, just trying to get a fire going. Now I think I might have something going on here. there. Looks like I'm starting to get ignition here. And in the meantime, try to baton a little more. I'm expecting, like I'm just kind of waiting for the tip of the knife to break off or something. So far so good though. I should have had Justin over here. Yeah, I got he would have nailed it in one match. One match he wouldn't have even used a match. Nope. He would have used a bow drill. It. Dude, it's sketchy uh, batoning with this knife, dude. <laughs> yeah, it's like... I'm kind of like thinking it's going to break at any moment. It's almost time to cook. <laughs> Let's try out these uh, really inexpensive spoons. And I've got my little pot here. This, I'll tell you, folks, this challenge is very fun. Got the, what was that, strawberry lemonade. And we've got this oatmeal for in the morning. We've got some spam for in the morning or tonight, whenever. But I'm going to have soup. 
Oh yeah, check that out. We're gonna rock some beef stew. Oh, oh, that's a lot. That makes that's quite a good meal. Look at how much that makes. That's quite quite a bit. And one thing that I didn't mention is for a pot holder to keep the heat off of me, I can use my pink bandana or my Shema, of course. So we're trying really hard to stay out of our secondary bags, I guess you could call them. We're trying to stay in this pink Princess Peach bag uh, just for the challenge to see how it's going to work out. And so far it's working out pretty well. The handle on this pot is hot, so you definitely have to have something to hold it. It is a hot handle. So, set that there. Let's give this a little stir. So it's a good thing that I have some cotton here. Look at that. Oh, that's 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 kind of starting to be delicious. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. I can't wait. I'm hungry. I'm going to move it back here, put this lid back on, just let it kind of heat up. I'm probably going to take a drill bit and maybe drill some holes to dissipate the heat. Uh, I'll probably do that when I get home. So let's take a taste of this strawberry lemonade. Let's see what that's like. Ooh, not bad. So Justin's got his hammock pretty much figured out. And I'm over here getting ready to eat some supper. And when I'm done eating, I'm going to clean this pot and let him cook his, have his supper. He wanted to finish his hammock. Mmm, it's good. It's hot, though. Now this lid, uh, this part gets hot to the touch, too. So it's, I mean, you can't really expect too much out of an inexpensive pot like this, but I got it for this challenge. I thought it would be fun. That is delicious. I finally got my hammock done after I fell out of it two times. <laughs> and I'm going to try to sleep in it, but I'm not too sure about it. <laughs> He's gun shy right now. Yeah. You get a, oh, you get slingshotted out into the ground from three feet in the air. It's kind of, I, <laughs> Did you do some ukimi? <laughs> yeah, tomanagi some... <laughs> my butt straight to the ground, man. Uh, ukemi is falling techniques in jujitsu. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I did back fall. <laughs> I sure did. Very good. Got some little color going on in your pot from the fire. Yeah, I think, you know, I was kind of wanting to maybe, after you eat, maybe run a torture test on this thing and see, I mean, put it like in some fire. Mm. Kind of like I did that. I like fire. Yeah, that cast iron that I did, that Ozark trail. Yeah. I'm uh, just see, because for, for a survival pot, I'd like to know if it's going to hold up. Right. Now that I don't know about. Mm. I don't know. It looks pretty sturdy though. Mm. There's a lot of potatoes and carrots and meat in here. Yeah, I've always liked that too. Mm -hmm. That's good. What else we got? Mm -mm -mm. Can't believe how close you got to that deer. That was nuts. That was pretty crazy. A few feet. He had no clue I was there. Uh -uh. I missed out on all the action because I was hammocking. Mm-hmm. Cutting up some spam. We're going to have some spam now. <laughs> so we're testing out this little pan. And uh, we found a couple things. The rivets are so off off uh, center on this thing. They, you could tell that these pans are definitely mass produced. But it seems like it's a decent pan for what we're looking at right now. So... See how it goes. It holds up. Oh. Yeah, we'll keep you posted. Spam is cooking. Spam time. Spam up. Yep, he's in there cooking away. And we're using our little flashlight. We're using our pan. We're we're using our pink bandana. We're trying our best to use the items that were included in that Princess Peach bug out bag. You know, I hated my knuckle hair anyways, so. <laughs> That's how I survive in the woods. Yeah, it's kind of neat testing out that pot 
you know, to see if it's going to hold. All right. That handle doesn't mess around with heat distribution. No, it's terrible. <laughs> Very bad handle. Well, it's time to go to bed. So I've got Justin's bed roll. This thing's actually pretty warm. But he doesn't fit in I barely fit in it though. It's like really tight. <laughs> it's for like midgets or something. <laughs> it's for little kids. <laughs> for little kids or something. This is no wonder it was $25. It's for little kids and Justin. For little guys. <laughs> and then uh, my daughter, Savvy2002, she included a little unicorn pillow in, in the truck and she wanted me to use this on the overnighter. And I was really surprised because there's like this little button here. So Justin and I took it apart and we were looking at it. He has a zipper under his tail. Unzip it and he's got like a little battery compartment, right? So you can turn it on, off, or timer. And I think we have it on timer. So it takes three AA batteries and it didn't have any batteries. So, because we were wondering what the switch does. Does it sing or what does it do? <laughs> like a little Dang, uh, a <laughs> unicorn, right? So it lights up. If I turn this light off, just whoops, look at that. It lights up. This thing lights up. <laughs> it's like a glow in the dark kind of thing. I thought that was hilarious. So that's my pillow tonight. It's a, a little glow in the dark, like little unicorn thing <laughs> I think it's cool today was a great day we had a lot of fun we did a lot of stuff today we made a hammock you know I'm laying in my hammock right now as we speak and we got Justin's hammock for the most part figured out uh, we had some supper I made my stew um, my Dinty Moore soup or stew and then uh, Justin got an idea that we would Put, put some spam on the, the fire, on the pot, the little pan, the little one quart stainless steel um, pan worked great. Uh, we cooked a thing of spam and we noticed that the pan worked out good. So we're gonna, we're looking forward to that in the morning. Some of the spam stuck to the pan, but that pan was very easy to clean. So we're loving it here. The aspens are beautiful. This is actually a campground area, but I, we really like it because the area is so secluded. The sites are huge. We pay 16 bucks a night. There's no water or anything. Um, they did have a water pipe, but it bur broke. It was a clay pipe, so they said it's probably going to be a year before they get another water system going. Temperatures are good. We checked the the uh, thermometer and it was what 50 something 59. 59 or something so the temperatures are good right now um, yeah his little little bed roll I mean I fit in it it's is it goose down or yeah it's like goose feathers so it compacts really tight but it's you got to let it air out a little bit so it can get some loft to it um, yeah, the flashlight, He's he's been using the flashlight. I'm cheating. I'm using a little tiny O-light here. And it's been a good day. We're, tomorrow we're going to get up. Um, see what, what we're going to do tomorrow. We got a couple little plans that we're going to play with. We didn't even use the, the drop cloth uh, plastic, the two mil plastic, uh, to put up any kind of shelter. The forecast doesn't show for any any rain or anything so we should be all right now in the event that it starts raining or something of course we're gonna probably get up and be running around trying to put up something but I don't think it's gonna be that anything tonight uh, the cl skies look very clear there's no clouds or anything so we should be good to go hopefully we don't find out the hard way that it's raining in the night uh, mm, that's about all I can think of my hammock is super comfortable very comfortable hammock for as small as it is and compact you know it makes you feel good when you make something when you come when you work on a, a project like that and then you you see it go all the way to fruition and now here I am laying in it and I'm gonna call it a night on a hammock that I made it's kind of a fulfilling feeling it's it's pretty cool 
So, yeah, that's about it. I miss Miss Bella. I miss my daughter. I miss Miss Bella's daughter. I miss the family. Uh, gosh, I miss my parents. I haven't seen them in a long time. Can't wait to see them again. I spent a week with them in June, but that was cool. Because I felt bad you couldn't fit bad in the sleeping bag. Yeah, he felt bad for me because I couldn't fit in this little midget sleeping bag of his. <laughs> <laughs> So he let me have the drop cloth back just to make sure I don't die tonight. And I've hung my shoes up. I don't know if you can see them. Let's see. Can you see them back there? I don't know if you can see them on the camera or not. Hopefully you're getting that. I don't, I don't know what you can see or not. But um, is it, can you see them back there? Anyway, today was a great day. We had a lot of fun. And I look forward to tomorrow. I don't want to leave tomorrow. This is a beautiful place. Uh, we really like it. So it's been fun. We'll see you in the morning. In the Princess Peach bag, he didn't pack any coffee. That's because he's not a coffee drinker. I gotta have my morning coffee. So don't tell him. Finally got through that. Yeah, I got the camera rolling right now. I replaced him with a new companion. The little dog, yeah, he's cool, man, but he don't want to. He came over to our camp just to take a dump this morning. <laughs> <laughs> he kind of reminds me of my parents' dog. Hey, dude.
my parent, those blue eyes that this dog has, my dog, my parents have a dog named Rango, and he's got eyes like that, real pretty. Yeah. Kind of crazy, huh? what I need. It's, it's going to help me out tremendously. Tiny smalls, yeah. making a fire because we're cold and hungry ready for some oatmeal <laughs> strawberry and what was it strawberries and cream <laughs> oatmeal time <laughs> don't feather stick too well no not with this dry stuff feather sticks I've, was, I've never been good at making feather sticks it takes a some practice. I'm not good at it either. I, I'll get a good bunch of them going. Uh -huh. and I'll try to get more, and my knife will slip, and I'll take out all the ones I just worked to build. You know. That's exactly what happens to me. And I'll be like, dang it. <laughs> I'll get a bunch of stuff going, and then I'll jack it all up. We're thinking about using the bottom of our bottles as a template to make our bowl. Hopefully this will work out. Let's see. Let's go backwards. Just something to put our oatmeal in. Can I hold the I think bottle? I, I think I got it now. Thank you. So there's the first one. This tape is a little bit difficult to work with. You're probably just distracted by the grand unicorns on there. Unicorns the theme, man. Unicorns are cool. You slept on one last night. Yeah, my little pillow that my daughter... <laughs> <laughs> Which, he confessed to me this morning that, that was supposed to be for me. But yeah. he, he hogged the coolness of it. Yeah. He took it. My daughter's like, oh, you're going on an overnighter with Justin? I'm like, yep. She's like, here, give him this hello <laughs> I've never gotten scared at night with this pillow guys. that's what my daughter told me <laughs> yeah. go right there I think it's butter I'm on it one more and then one two wraps and you can put a handle on it too if you want like a handle like really? on the cup yeah there it is okay finally got my bowl. That was a pickle. That? Getting that out of there. <laughs> Ooh. That smells. Ooh, dude. Delicious. It does, huh? And then they got the little line where you can fill it up with water, but I don't do it that way. <laughs> I'm gonna do I'm gonna eat three bags, man. Oh man, you're just hungry, huh? Hungry. That's true. Full of there's little strawberries in there. Got your Kydex sheet, man. Oh, I sure did. Jeremiah Jewel would be jealous. <laughs> Country Prepper. Look at that sheet, man. And good old Plastica. You've never seen Country Prepper, have you, my friend? No. My okay. YouTuber? Moment of truth. Oh, let's see. How hard is it going to be? Oh, uh, look at you trying to show off. Oh, oh my God. Man. Ah, got those guns, son. Like a boss. Look mm -hmm. at that. <laughs> nice. Thank you, Mr. Stu. Oh, that's Mr. Moore. Hilarious. Mr. Moore Stu. Dinty Moore. Uh, Mr. Moore Stu. Your bowl looks kind of like your hammock. 
Uh, yeah, <laughs> needs some work. Kind of does, doesn't it? Oh man. You know what? Mine's bigger. I can eat yours for breakfast. <laughs> my bowl looks like my hammock. You know what? My bowl looks better than my hammock because it's got unicorns and rainbows. <laughs> it does look good. It turned out fantastic. Thanks. I bet the oatmeal tastes very good in that bowl. It tastes wonderful. Bad at all. Check that out. Yeah. Lift that feet up a little bit. Where's your spoon, dude? Uh, in Princess Peach's bag. Princess Peach's bag. So, Although with all the strawberry theme, it should be strawberry shortcake bag. Yeah, we used about half of this roll of tape to make our bowls, but it worked out pretty good. Kind of cool. Didn't need to wake up in the middle of the night and make an emergency shelter, so... Yeah, we didn't need that emergency cordage. See, here comes the sun. Sunglasses time. Time for shades. <clears throat> hmm. Not bad for great value. Mm. Yeah, in your Quaker yeah. competition foot. So our little bowls work good. Three packets in my bowl look smaller than three packets in your bowl. Mm hmm. Tastes so much better coming out of these pink bowls. Yeah, it just really makes it magical. Pixie dust all over. That's it, man. <laughs> man. The only thing missing is a big old bag of glitter. <laughs> <laughs> My daughter was in the back with one of her friends, and I went back there, and there was glitter everywhere. <laughs> I don't know what they were doing. <laughs> Having a glitter party? Mm-hmm. You can't clean that up either. It does not. <laughs> that stuff was everywhere. No vacuum is no match for clean glitter. It was everywhere. You ever received a glitter card from anybody where they just pump it full of glitter on the inside of a like greetings card, like Christmas card or mm -hmm. happy birthday card? So then when you open it, you just get a lap full of glitter. <laughs> really? Yeah. I've never had that. <laughs> Done with all of my. Oatmeal, but I want to test my bowl for two reasons. One, I want to clean it, and two, I want to see if it'll hold water. So far, so good. Yeah, it's not leaking. Clean my bowl at the same time. I guess if a person had a roll of duct tape, they could make a bowl on day one, and if they take care of it, it would hold up for a while, probably. Probably a good while. Hope it holds up a little bit. Or if you thought it was going to rain, and you didn't have nothing else to collect some water. 
Mm -hmm. There you go. Rain collection, yeah. That is true. Yeah, I don't have no leaks on mine. Good. Must have made it right. Yeah, yours is watertight too. So far so good. That's all that matters. Now I have a clean bowl. Oh, a little bit different when it's full of water. <laughs> oh wait. Uh oh. Oh no. Fail. Dang it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, you're not. <laughs> well, ants got to drink water too, so mm -hmm. A for you because you've taken care of the little creatures. I always look after those little creatures. <laughs> you just got to drink fast, it's so you don't, you know, mess around. <laughs> All right, let's get the Sawyer Mini out. So right here we have the MSR dromedary bag and yesterday we were kind of playing around and we were looking at this spout because you've got a small one that he used just now and you have the mid size which will come off eventually like so and then you have the large cap like a nalgene so we were wondering if the Sawyer filters will fit that. If so, that would be a great deal for your water. Because I've always wanted a bag that would fit my mini or my squeeze. With the B free, I have that bag, that Hydro Flask, and it works great, but you don't have something flexible and strong like that for the Sawyer. Oh, wait. Oh, man. Yeah. No way. Does it work? Does it leak? Let's see. Let's see. Is it going to work? Oh, oh, man. No way. Dang. Now i got to get one of those. <laughs> drama Dairy. They make a drama light, too. Oh, cool. Dang, MSR did good with that, that's freaking... This thing is tough, yeah, you can throw this bag down, so wow, Sawyer Mini fits on there. That's wow, cool. that's cool. Look at that, big 10 liter squeeze pouch, man, for there your Sawyer. There you go, nice. Getting it. So 10 liters, you know, for me, half of my body weight in ounces per day, if I was, 100, if I was 200 pounds, that'd be 100 ounces a day. That'd be three liters a day. So this this bag with 10 liters of water would give me three days of, of water, staying fully hydrated. Crazy. How much you weigh? 130? 120? Mm -hmm. Yeah, 130. 130? Mm -hmm. So half of that is what, 65? 60. Yep. Wow, that's cool. So you'd need, so 65 liters a day, that's two Nalgene bottles, that's two liters, right? Yep, two liters. Two liters a day, so you get five days out of this thing. Uh, I get to survive for five days off of that. Dude. Ten liters? Oh, I just did. You'd survive. That's cool. Five days off water, huh? Ten liter MSR dromedary. I, I use this a lot. It benefits to being small. I consume less. It's a good bag. Or so they say. In Amarillo, Texas, they have a restaurant called the Big Texan. And people can go there and they can order, I think that's what it's still called. I don't know what the restaurant's called today, but it used to be called the Big Texan. People can go over there and they can buy a 72 ounce steak. Dang. That's how many? That's huge. That's a lot. That's seven ribeyes. five pounds, right? A pound is 16 ounces, right? Yeah, yeah. your normal ribeye is usually around 10 ounces. Holy so. smokes. And if they eat the whole thing with all the trimmings, it's free. And they got and they got a wall with pictures of people that have done it. How many made it? They're all the skinny people. 
Little dude's like 120 <laughs> pounds. You sure you don't want more oatmeal? <laughs> yeah, I actually was just thinking I'd take some more oatmeal. Got to reboil some water though. Back up. Yeah. Yeah. Getting training for that steak. Yeah. Yeah. Let's take you to Amarillo and get you on that big Let's Texan it, man. challenge. What's this? What's the side? Baked potato and. Yeah, and you have to eat it all, and and you have to do it in an hour. See, when they put time limits on it, that's what makes it difficult. The time limits. If you give me two and a half hours, I could probably do it, but. And you can't go to the bathroom, you can't throw up, or... Yeah. If anything like that happens, you're... Can't pot. <laughs> is it? No. <laughs> no? Well, it's been, that handle does suck, and that handle's crazy. Wow. Right now, I wanted to test the cup with boiling water and see if it will withstand boiling water. The reason I'm wanting to check this out is because if I was wanting to make tea or coffee or put something in there to steep, I'd like to know if it'll withstand this boiling water. So let's find out. Just pouring it straight in there. That was a hard rolling boil. Yeah, so far so good. And it's not hot to the hand either. Really? Not, I mean, it's warm, but it's not hot. Cool. Manageable. Is it gonna yeah. weaken the uh, strength of it? I have no idea. It kind of looks like the tape. Look at this. It's see, it's kind of shrinking. Right. So the heat's definitely affecting it, but it doesn't look like it's hurting it. Kind of shrinking a little bit, like. But it's holding it, no problems. So I would, I would go out on a limb and say yes, you can, you can definitely put boiling liquids in this cup without worrying if it's going to hold. We thought we would do is we thought we would go through and talk about our Princess Peach bug out bag, our kit that we put together, and see how, how it worked for us. So. You can see that we still have food left, probably for another day or two. Yeah, we survived off of that yesterday. We did eat all the oatmeal this morning, <laughs> so we had five bags of oatmeal each. <laughs> um, we only used one box of the matches. We could have definitely rationed that oatmeal a little bit, but oh well. <laughs> yeah, we could have rationed the oatmeal. <laughs> Just so the duct tape, we used, what, half of that roll of duct tape to make two bowls. Yeah. So. Uh, if there's anything I would recommend, it would be maybe put a little more duct tape in the kit. Yeah, maybe. You can, and you can definitely get by on this knife. That knife held up good. We were batoning both of us. Uh, yep. Both of us built a hammock, and all the hammock work that we did, we cut every string, everything with that knife to build two hammocks. Yep. Um, he was cutting 550 cord, and I was cutting 1100 pair of 1100 cord. Cut the fan with it. And yeah. Baton. The only problem with batoning is on sometimes when you baton it, instead of it being so sharp, maybe because it's serrated or whatever, it wouldn't go into the wood, it would fling off. Like you'd hit it and it would. It would act like it was going to twist, huh? Yeah, it would twist off. It would kind of tear off of it, glance off of it, so what I'm looking for again. The boiling water in this cup is still holding up. Yeah, again, we have food. We didn't use any yarn because we didn't make any shelter. Or the plastic. Or the plastic. But we still have that in case something happens. The Powerade, you know, I drank mine yesterday and drank water today, so I had a container. Mm -hmm. So we were able to boil or filter water and then put it in here. I drank half of this yesterday and half of this this morning, so that was two days of one Powerade, you know? Yep. Cool thing about these bottles is if you drink the content, out of the bottle and then you boil water you put the boiling water in this bottle and it'll shrink kind of like this cup is but that's actually a good thing because what that does is when this thing shrinks a little bit it seems like the plastic gets stronger like the bottles get tougher the pot was impressive yeah I mean, even even though they throw them together cleans up it, it's pretty durable on the fire if you look at the handle in relation, you know, 
to where they put the rivets and stuff they are definitely not straight by any means but it's functional the pot was seven dollars and some change yeah. worked out matches we didn't use this and I chose the cotton yarn because of the fact that it's cotton I thought that if there was any kind of tallow or oil or anything like that this is wicking material so we could have made candles or oil lamps or stuff like that yeah, plus spam containers for all that you know? mm -hmm. any oil in there <laughs> there is a tiny bit of like tallow looking stuff in there oh yeah that jelly that makes spam what spam is mm -hmm. what else did we have in here the spoons and forks spoons? they worked tremendously well I mean, for we got three spoons for I think it was a dollar fifty, and then three forks for a dollar fifty, and it worked out great. So, what I was thinking about doing is when we get home, I'm gonna take a drill bit, five thirty seconds, and I'm gonna drill a hole, and probably put a fork and a spoon on a piece of paracord and throw it in a bag. But these held up great for cheap, cheap utensils. They were perfect. I chose the teaspoon again so that I could get it into the bowl, into the pot here, and be able to mix yeah. things. Over the fire, they're a little short handles, but I mean, it still works. You gotta deal with the hot knuckles. The temperature gauge, compass, and whistle. Uh, we did look at the temperature last night. It was in the 50s. So we used that. What else? That's it. That's it. The bags in there. The yeah. In your rows. The bags that came with the, uh, when, when I purchased the items, we didn't use those, but you can use these for making a solar vegetation still to produce water, but we didn't do that. That's kind of one of the thoughts that I was thinking, but we, we brought our own water. But yeah, the bag itself was really weak, but it was just enough to hold the items in, and that's really all I needed. As far as this lens, uh, to create solar magnification for fire uh, I we didn't try that yet so that's something yet to to discover compass seems pretty accurate and that's about it from me you got anything else mm -hmm. nope that's about it I'm bandana oh yeah the bandana damn that worked like any other good bandana bandana was a was a champion yeah. um, a dollar you know so maybe maybe add a second bandana so, yeah. so that you can cut cut it into strips and make tar out of it tar cloth um, yep. yeah maybe more duct tape maybe more bandana I don't know the matches was definitely enough matches yeah we still got the pot was good two four eight nine ten packs still yeah. you got you got one in your pocket there eh? yeah I do so we still probably have at least over a hundred matches well, definitely over 100 matches. Mm -hmm. Over 200 matches, maybe. I think we actually still have enough food here for two more days. Easy. You think so? Yeah, because we could half the spam and eat that today, and then half the soup and eat that tomorrow. So the spam is going to give us 180 calories. So that's, what, 90 calories per person. Yeah. Uh, that's actually pretty good. And that's, like, per serving, right? So there's, like, three servings in there, so... Oh, you're right. It yeah. is two servings, yeah, yeah, 180 calories a day. Yeah. So yeah, you're right. Each. And this one. Two servings. This one's going to give us, this is two and a half servings of 200 calories, so there's 450 calories in there? Yeah. This one has 60 calories. 400, no, there's 500 calories in there. Okay. So yeah, calories. You're right. We could, and these are the larger pouches. These are the five ounce salmon because they make some that are like two and a half or something yeah. yeah I got the bigger ones and if we weren't gluttons on our oatmeal <laughs> yeah we could we could have probably honestly got by with two bags of oatmeal per person yeah that would have been five days of oatmeal right <laughs> well two and a half days if we split it <laughs> you know it's the bowl man it made it taste so magical <laughs> the bowl Had yeah to eat more and more the bowl the boiling water in the cup that didn't it didn't like break the integrity or collapse it or nothing, huh? Nothing. Didn't harm it at all. I wonder how that water tastes. Yeah. Boiling duct tape. Yeah, we can try it and see how does it taste.
I don't like to be sick of that. It's still very hot. <laughs> but it doesn't taste doesn't taste bad. <laughs> it's still very hot. Very hot. Uh, it tastes like hot. It tastes like hot. <laughs> Flashlight, in my opinion, worked great for what it was designed to do. You know, I was able to bite this thing and use it for the lack of a better description like a headlamp so it worked out pretty good what do you think about the flashlight was it yeah i think it would you know like if you you had nothing else i'm just spoiled with all the other good lights you've been showing me mm -hmm. but i mean heck the batteries made it all the way through the night we used it constantly and i mean that's definitely good to put in your bug out bag because a little thing that you're not worried about getting broke or you know the battery needing charge or nothing like that yeah it worked out good huh yeah, so for the kit, I think that was a good idea. His bedroll was cool too. This is the one I used. This thing is down to 40, 40 degrees, I think. Comfort 40, yeah. Comfort 40. And man, my feet got a little cold, but this thing is so ultra light. And it, it, it just, I was impressed. Very small. So that's about it, folks. So I want to say thank you for joining us today. Thanks for watching. This, on this overnighter, it was fun. Thanks for coming. Oh, thanks for having me. And it's good to have a blast. It's cool that I slept in a hammock that I made. It was a good feeling. It's a feeling of accomplishment. Yeah. Huh? So I need to go with at least 250 feet of hair cord in my truck so I can sleep some more. Yeah. That's that's a good thing too. We were talking about that last night. You're a little bit, you're taller than me, so you maybe need 300 feet to be a little more yeah, comfortable, but... Yeah, probably 300 feet, and I would have had a perfect size hammock. I, I always thought 200 was a good milestone to start at, and yeah. it worked out, but... I'm 5'4", and it covered my body perfectly. Yep, I'm 5'8", about 185, so yeah, maybe 250 to 300 feet for a person my size. And that Para 1100 worked phenomenal. Yeah. That hammock feels solid. When I sit in his, it's just standard commercial grade 550 cord. It feels good, and it and the netting holds you. It, it distributes your weight well, but it stretches. It's like a real dynamic uh, type of feel. So when you lay in it, it really you have to put it real high. By the time you get in it, you're a foot above the ground. Right. The 1100 didn't do that so much doesn't stretch as much it's more static so i hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching and we will see you uh, next time i don't know you're going out of state or something aren't you yeah we'll be on the next one so he'll be out of the next one probably be i'm not sure what i'm going to do for the next one but it's going to be fun thanks for watching <laughs> i look forward to watching it